Hey everyone, Michelle with Silver Snake Designs and in today's video I'm going to teach you how to make these wonderful pendants. And in fact, this would be more of a three-in-one video to be honest because the steps that you have to take to create these will actually allow you to make in the first step bead caps, in the second step a beaded bead, and in the third step the pendant. It was very fun to make. I made this one with, I think, one, two, three, four, seven. These I made a little bit larger with the tens, 10 seed beads to give it a little bit of a bigger hole. I think I like the bigger hole better, but you can make it with a smaller hole if you want. But I really had fun making these. These utilize right angle weave, double right angle weave, peyote stitch, and that's about it, really. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna need rondelles. I'm using like a Siam red color, and these are about two and a half, three millimeter rondelles. I wouldn't go anything bigger than these. I'm using size 11 seed beads, size 15 seed beads. Both of these colors are the PF557, and I'm using a, what size of this? 12 millimeter pearl. You could use a 14 millimeter pearl if you wanted to so um, your bead caps will fit on this the only thing is if you're going to use a larger 14 millimeter bead cap where we cage our pearl you're going to have a little bit more 15s there so just be a little bit longer but not much and then of course beading needle and i use fire line Okay, so if you want to, just to let you guys know too, you can see that I use like an emerald green color and the gold and the pearl. And those are using the PF557 colors, but if you wanted to do a sapphire color, this is PF558. Also, you would need it in the 11 and the 15 as well. So this is 557 and 558. If you guys don't know me by now, you know I work in mostly these colors anyway. <laughs> so uh, let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna start off by picking up four rondelles, just like this. I'm gonna bring those down. And it's okay, you don't have to have a very long, long tail. It could be kind of short, a couple inches if you want. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back through all four because I wanna reinforce this. I wanna make sure these rondelles are gonna stay tight. And then I'm gonna go back through the bead that I put on and that will hold it together just like that. And so that's what you want your work to look like. So now what I'm gonna do is pick up a size 11 seed bead Go through the next rondelle. I'll pick up another size 11 seed bead. Go through the next rondelle. Pretty easy. You're just popping a seed bead in between the rondelles. Pick up a seed bead. Go through the next rondelle. And we will pick up a seed bead. But this time, we're gonna have a step up. We want our bead to exit the seed bead, so we're gonna go through the rondelle and the seed bead. And your work should now look like this. It's a very pretty stitch. This is what you call double right angle weave. Why, I don't know, because you're doing right angle weave and then it's like a peyote stitch because you're beading, picking up a bead and going through the next bead, but Whatever it's called, that's what it's called. So we'll just go with that, I guess. <laughs> um, so what we'll, we're gonna do now is that's like, I guess your second round, I guess. And then now what we're gonna do is we'll pick up two of the seed beads and go through the next gold bead. We'll pick up two more seed beads and go through the next gold bead. Pick up two seed beads, go through the next gold bead, 
just like that. And now we're gonna do another step up. So we're gonna pick up two seed beads. We'll go through the next gold bead, but we'll also go out that top, that second gold bead right there. So just like that. And this is what your work should look like now. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick up a size 11 and we're gonna go through the next seed bead right next to it, just like that. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna pick up a seed bead. We're actually gonna skip over this gold seed bead and we're gonna go through this seed bead right here. We're gonna pick up a gold seed bead. We'll go through the next gold seed bead right next to it. We'll pick up a seed bead, skip over this gold seed bead here and go through the next gold seed bead. So you're pretty much going through the seed beads that are like on these corners. So just like that. We'll pick up a seed bead. We'll go through the next gold seed bead right next to it. We'll pick up a seed bead. We'll skip over this seed bead and we'll go through the next seed bead. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick up a seed bead. We'll go through the next seed bead right next to it. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick up a seed bead. And this is gonna be a little difficult. You can see we have the seed beads on the corner here. And you see how this seed bead is the one we're gonna skip. So we wanna go through this, but we're also gonna have our step up again. So we wanna go through this one and this one, these two right here. And then, so just like that. And pull that through and now what we're gonna do is your work should look like this it may start to look like it's gonna curl up a bit if depending on how tight your tension is but this is how we want it to look and it's okay if it's still flat it could be up it doesn't matter because now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a round of rondelles so we're gonna pick up a rondelle and we're gonna go through this next bead that's sticking up. So now we're gonna peyote stitch a rondelle. So we're gonna skip over this gold bead and go through that bead right there. We'll pick up a rondelle. We'll skip this bead and go through the next bead. And we'll do that going all the way around. Pick up a rondelle go through the next bead. After you do this thing of rondelles, you may find that your work is gonna start curling up a bit. Pick up a rondelle, go through the next bead. Pick up a rondelle, we'll go through this next bead. Pick up a rondelle, go through this next bead. See how pretty it's starting to look right now. I like this part. Pick up a rondelle, go through the next bead. And now we're gonna pick up our, yes, our last rondelle. So we're gonna pick up a rondelle. We're gonna skip this gold bead, but we're gonna go through this bead right here and then the rondelle. So that's our step up. This bead and then the rondelle. And that's that. Looks so pretty though, doesn't it? Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do one round of peyote stitch back to the seed bead. And then what you're just gonna do is you're gonna pick up a seed bead and go through each individual rondelle. So that's very easy. If your work isn't curling up by now, by this round and you start adding your seed bead round, it will start cupping and that's okay. because it's supposed to do that. Pick up a seed bead, go through the next rondelle. We'll pick up a seed bead, go through 
go through the next rondelle. And you can see now that I'm pulling my tension tight, it's starting to cup up, which is what I want it to do. Um, now, the other thing I want to talk to you about is your tail. Because we want the knot to be inside so it doesn't show up on our outside border, if you are starting to curl up like this with the cup on the, like it's this, and then the tail end is on the out, just flip it over and grab your thread, stick your thumb down there and just curl it up on this side. And then you'll find though that you'll have to go and hold your thing in a different position, but you can wait and do that at the end if you want. And I'll show you that because it's just easier for me to beat it like this. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick up a seed bead Go through the rondelle, pick up a seed bead, go through the rondelle. The bead cap really doesn't take very long to do. It's very quick. I think once you get going on this and you memorize the steps without the use of the video, you could probably have a bead cap made in like 15 minutes, if that. Okay, so now we are at our final. 11 and we have another step up which means we have to go through the rondelle and then the gold seed bead right next to it just like that and now if you want see how mine wants to cup this way like if i pull it tight that's really pretty what i'm going to do is if you want to hold it like this if it's easier for you to hold it like this go ahead and do it because we can just do this We'll take our thread and we'll just stick it down the hole, just like that. And then we'll just have it come out here. If I can even grab it, there it is, there. And then it's easier for me to hold. So whatever is easier for you to hold, you can do. Because I'm right-handed and I like to hold something in my left hand and go counterclockwise, I just did it that way by sticking the thread down the hole. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do our final round, and we'll do this by picking up two seed beads and going through the next gold bead. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna like close our rondelle, you know, in a nice little circle. Just give it a nice little finish. And this is all you do, pick up two seed beads and go through the next seed bead. And do that all the way around. Okay, and now I've made it to my last round and I've got my two seed beads. I'm gonna go through this seed bead right after the rondelle. But here is what you're, what you're gonna do next. What I like to do, and just to make these seed beads be a little bit closer, I like to take my thread and just go back through these two down there and just kind of like go back through the bottom here and just kind of reinforce everything so then I go back through the seed bead and then back through the two seed beads we put on and back down here and then that's really it for the bead cap and then what we'll do is we'll tie off our thread but what this will do too, is this will keep the shape and then you pull tight as you go around and this will just keep its structure a little bit.
Okay, now that I've gone in, gone around, and there's your pretty bead cap. So now what I want to do is I want to get my thread back up to the top here because then I'm going to stick it through and I'm going to tie off our threads. And because this is kind of like a peyote stitch, I'm going to go up, looks like on an angle, through the beads like this. Just try to get my needle up through there and then through the rondelle. And now what I'm going to do is I just want to see where my tail is coming out of, which is like right there, which looks like, yeah, pretty much where my, uh, <laughs> my working thread is. So I'm just going to take my working thread and I'm just going to shove it down the hole there because I want to get both these threads on the inside of the bead cap just like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tie it off. And now what I'd like to do is once I've done that, I'm just going to snip as close as I can, but don't worry if there's still some there. It's okay. It's going to be, the thread is going to be in the bead cap. And then what I'll do is just to reinforce it because it's not on any of the holes because your main hole it's actually going to be this right here. When you do a little bit of glue and just reinforce your knot, it's going to be on the side. And because we don't have to do anything more with this, I'm cool with gluing it. And we'll just add a little drop here. I think I'm going to have to buy more glue. And then I'm going to just take it and just bloop, bloop right there on the side where the knot is. I'm going to leave that to dry. And now what you need to do is you may, you need to make another one of these. So go ahead, I'm gonna put chapters in, go back to the beginning. And once you have your two bead caps made, I will show you the beaded bead part. Okay, so I've gone ahead and made the bead caps. Don't they look so pretty? And now what we're going to do is we're going to get yourself a new length of thread. Um, you're going to need a little bit of extra thread just because we're going to do the little back and forth here to cage the pearl. And then we're going to go up and do these as well. And also uh, the reason why I call these the cathedral beads, um, beaded beads, is because they look like the cathedral beads. Here's I love these beads. These are my favorite. So it kind of looked like it in my... And that's that. So now what you're going to do is you're going to have the long thread. And then I went ahead and added a stopper bead. I just picked up one and tied it on. And... Let me show you what it'll look like. Just if we did... Without caging anything, we'll, let's do the bead cap. Let's add our little 14, 12 millimeter pearl. And I'll show you the 14 millimeter in just a second. And we just pop it on like that. So our holes are going to be those four beads right there. The rondelles, the middle there. Looks really pretty. Yeah. Let me show you what it looks like with the 14 millimeter. I think it looks pretty as well. I like it too. So you can use a 14 or you can use the 12 millimeter. We're doing the 12 millimeter because like I said, I like how it looks. Looks almost like the cathedral bead, so we'll do that. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna add our pearl and add the bead cap just like that. Now, main important thing is this. If you decide that you're just going to make this as a bead, what you want to do is you want to add your bead caps. So you want to add a bead cap, a pearl, and a bead cap because, and before you join 
the two bead caps together. And the reason why you want to do that is if you don't do this and you just join the bead caps together and then just stick the pearl in, your hole's going to shift and go everywhere. You're not, the hole isn't going to be sticking around the same area as your bead cap holes. Okay. So this is why if you're going to do this, make sure the thread goes through all three of your components. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to just bring this down a bit. And now what I want to do is I want to get my needle coming out of one of these two beads, these two that cover the rondelle there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through the rondelle, through the beads and get to the bottom. Yes. All right. So my bead is coming out. So if you're looking at the rondelle, you can see boop, boop, the two beads on either side here that cover the bottom of the rondelle. You want to exit one of those beads just like that. And now our bead should be okay. And this isn't going anywhere. <laughs> All right. So here's what you do. I'm kind of going to hold this as best I can so you can see. Now, let's make sure you guys can see this. Okay. Depending on how you bead, if you're left or right handed, your bead is, your thread is going to come out of one of these two beads. You can see here, which covers the bottom of the rondelle. The two beads was the very last row that we put on. Now, what you want to do at this point is you want to pick up four, one, two, three, four little 15 beads. And on the opposite, on this bead cap, you're going to see two right here. Now this thread is coming out of the left one. So you want to go up onto the right one up here. You see that? So that way, when you pull, it kind of goes on a little angle, just a slight little angle. And that's what gives it almost like that triangle -ish shape I really like. So it goes on the angle. And now, because we're now working on the left bead cap, we want to come up through the next two beads. So we want to go up that bead and then come back down one of the, this bead here. So now we're on the left side, on the left rondelle on the bead, on the left seed bead, we're going to pick up four. And now what we're going to do is we're going to make sure. So we went out this one. Now we have to make sure that we're doing the two below the rondelle right next to this one. And because we're on the left side, we want to go down the right side of the next, of the seed bead of the next rondelle. So when you're looking at this here, so you want to kind of go on a diagonal down. This is why you have a stopper bead too and pull. So now if we pull this, we can see if we look here, let me make sure you guys can see this pretty well. We have our left and our right bead cap. We have our left and our right seed bead. And we have our left and our right seed bead. So if we come up this left seed bead, we want to go to the right seed bead on the opposite side. And then we come out, and then on this side of the left seed bead, we'll come out the left seed bead, we'll pick up our four, and then we go down to the right 
seed bead on the opposite side. And then what we wanna do is ready ourselves. So we're gonna go up the next two beads, like that. And now our thread is coming out the left side of the seed bead of these two. So you have the left and the right. So we're gonna pick up four of the 15s and make sure you're going into your next. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to go to the left side and then the right seed bead up there on the opposite. And your pearl and everything may start flapping around, but it, it should get to the point where you can now hold it. We'll go through the next two seed beads. So now that our thread is coming out the left side on the left, bead cap. We'll pick up four of our little 15s. And now we'll come down here on the right side of our right bead cap on that kind of diag diagonal. And then we'll go through the next two beads, which will set us up again. This time we're on the right bead, on the right bead cap with the left bead. We'll pick up one, two, three, four. And then we will go on the left bead cap on that right bead up there. There. You may find that it start, it's easier to hold everything in place We'll go through our two beads, which will get us set up again. Now we are on the left bead cap with the left bead. We'll pick up one, two, three, four. And let's go here. We'll go to the right bead on the right be bead cap. We'll go up our next two beads. Like that. Now we're coming out the left bead on the right bead cap. One, two, three, four of the 15s. And we'll go up the right bead on the left bead cap. Okay. And then once again, we'll go through the two beads to set ourselves up. And then we will pick up one, two, three, four. And so now we are on the left bead on the left bead cap. And now we're gonna go down the right bead on the right bead cap. And that's that. If this is all you wanna do, you've made your beaded bead and you can stop here. Well, first you need to work your thread back through the piece and tie it off um, and do it the same for both sides. And you've got your beaded bead. And let me show you, the beaded bead will work because we put the thread through the pearl. So that way, and it's gonna may take just a little bit of time to find the hole. Just jiggle your needle around a bit, but it should be in there. And there you go. Oops, <laughs> sorry. Let's try that again. So your hole will probably be, you may have to just dig, jiggle your needle around a bit to find it, but your hole should be in there. There we go. And so you made your bead a bead. If you wanna continue <laughs> to make the pendant, you don't need to tie anything off, but what you need to do now is get your bead thread to the top. 
So I'm going to just follow these beads and up through here and then through the rondelle because now I need to go to through the beaded bead because we need it to come out here. So let me do this and I'll find the needle. There we go. You're gonna bring your needle through the beaded bead and you're gonna come out. Don't mind your tail thread. Okay. So now I'm coming out the hole and the rondelle, right in the middle of the rondelle there. And now what I want to do is I first want to create the loop first. So here is how I'm going to do that. First, I'm going to pick up a size 11 seed bead. I'm going to bring that down. Okay. And then I'm going to pick up nine seed beads. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, just like that. And I'm going to go back down through that first seed bead I put on and down through my beaded bead, just like that. So that way you've made a nice little loop. There you go. And now we're going to do the bottom. And as you can see, this is right angle weave, just like what we did when we first made the bead cap, but it makes like a really nice little, you know, bottom part. So now what we're going to do is we're going to pick up one, two, three, four seed beads. We're going to bring those down and skipping over these three beads, we're going to go back up through this bead that we put on and then back up through our bead. And you want to come up that very first bead there that we put on before we added on the nine. But if you didn't, don't worry about it. Just get your thread up there. And then you can come out that seed bead there. That first one that we very first put on to make the loop. Okay, so now what you have is this. You have this little fun little pico edge. So kind of get it out so that way you have the four beads that sit like this. And now this is good too because this will reinforce the pendant part. So we're just going to come up in a loop right around here. We'll follow all the seed beads in our little loop. And that's really awesome that we get to do that. And now you want to go down that seed bead, that very first seed bead that you put on. And then you want to go back through your beaded bead. And now you want to go through that one right there, that very first seed bead right closest to our bead cap. If you can't do it, don't worry about it. Get your needle through the bead and then go through that bead, that one that's closest. And now what you want to do is we want to go through either one of these beads, but we want to come out this bead right here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to pick up four rondelles just like this. Let me see if I can do this. All right. Pick up your four rondelles, bring it down, and go through the very first rondelle that you just put on. Pull. And get it as close as you can there. Let's kind of fix this here. My little pico edge is a bit weird, so there. Okay, that's all right. It'll, we can always straighten it out later. So here's what this looks like. So now what I want you to do is pick up a size 15 
go through the next rondelle and this looks like we are going to just be making another bead cap the very first step we did we're going to pick up another seed bead we'll go through the rondelle pick up another seed bead go through the rondelle now this next step is very important because you want to make sure your bead is going the same way because we're supposed to add another seed bead here this bead here will act as the rest of these three beads but you also want to make sure that the thread path is correct otherwise it won't sit properly so the thread is coming out this bottom bead here this gold seed bead here and going through the rondelle this way so what we want to do is go and bring our needle through this way now if this was switched like this this was happens to be like this then the knee, the thread is coming down here out this side and if we go through here it won't look good and it just won't mess it up so because we want it to go almost like in a circle we want to make sure that because the hole here there's a left and a right hole oh, excuse me a right and a left hole the thread is coming out the left hole we want to go back through it through the right side so just like that and then when we pull it you can see that this is joined with this one properly and now what we can do is we can just go back here and then we'll go back up through the bead so we'll come up here let's just make sure that this is good we'll come up there and then we'll come out the bead and then we'll come out there you want to come up through that very first seed bead and then we have our loop and pull and there we are looks good to me and now what we'll do is we'll just come back up through the loop again all the beads in the loop and that should take us right next to our tailpiece and now the fun thing great about the fun great thing the great thing about this is that when we come through here and then we just want to go through the seed bead there at the bottom and the thing about this that makes it awesome is that both your tail pieces are pretty much coming out the rondelle so when we added that very first seed bead and then we have the loop your threads are hiding behind there so that way now what we can do is tie it off and when you go and tie it off your knot should hide in the back there so here we are let's tie it off one to however many knots you want to make you can see how the knot just hides in there you can't even see the knot and then we'll cut it off Just like that and if you want you could add a drop of glue and you just made your pendant isn't that a load of fun very pretty too I really like these so you can see here I made 
one with a smaller hole, but I like the nine hole better just because you can add maybe, you know, a little bit of something. Here it is in the green. Here it is in the blue. So we have our ruby, our emerald, and our sapphire. So thank you so much for being here and watching this video. I hope you had fun. I'm glad you got three projects into one and it was really, really fun. So I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.